What's up guys? So today's video is something I think some of y'all have been waiting for for a little bit. It's five ways how to impress your drill instructor going into boot camp. And I promise if you follow these five things, you are definitely hands down going to impress your drill instructor and you're going to get some attention off you, I promise. But guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Also guys, don't forget to subscribe, give the video a like, and leave some comments down below. So guys, the first thing that is definitely going to impress your drone instructors going into boot camp is if you come in yelling. And what I mean by yelling, I mean freaking yelling. Like veins popping out of your neck, like your head's about to explode. Like you need to be yelling at the top of your lungs. You need to be yelling with some freaking like authority and some firmness in your voice. You don't need to yell where it's like, you know, kind of like that disrespectful yell like, I sir, I sir. Like you don't need to be doing that. And also one thing they freaking hate hands down is like they call it singing to them. So... It's supposed to be like, aye, sir, like real fast, real firm. Some people are like, aye, sir, aye, sir, like getting all messed up, like, aye, sir, aye, sir. And like, sure, they can be yelling, but they're like, aye, sir, they're like singing. You need to be like, aye, sir, aye, sir, and you need to do it at the top of your lungs. So if you're doing that to the drill instructor, guess what the drill instructor is going to do? They're going to go away, and they're going to go fuck up somebody else that's not yelling. So if you do that, I promise, hands down, the drill instructor is going to leave you alone. The next thing that's definitely going to impress your drill instructor is if you come into boot camp moving as fast as humanly possible. When I say as fast as humanly possible, think of that and then think faster than that. So as soon as the drill instructor tells you to do something, you need to be the first one. Like, like that. You need to be the first one to go do whatever. They tell you go touch this, go touch that. They're like, hey, go touch this right now. Go touch that right now. You need to be the first one touching it. I promise if you're the first one, you're never going to mess with. If you're the last one, you're going to get fucked up. They're going to mess up your life. They're going to destroy you. I promise you, if you're the first one, like, hey, look at me right now. All right, go touch that. Oh, if you didn't move fast enough, go touch this. And you're always, you're just like this, 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 and you're just moving as fast as possible. I promise I'm like, dang, that kid is putting out. Yeah, we're not going to mess with him. Oh, that kid right there, he's not going to do it. Go fuck that kid up. And they're going to go, they're going to go fuck his life up. So I promise, if you move as fast as humanly possible during boot camp, right off the rip, they don't have to yell at you for it, and you're just doing it just to do it, just because you want to be the first one to do everything, I promise. They're not going to mess with you. They're going to leave you alone. The next thing that's definitely going to impress your drill circus coming in is if you're showing some type of leadership. What I mean by that, that can be from taking your peers during your free time to go work out. Uh, you see some guys struggling during uh, when y'all have your PT and you're like, hey, dude, let's go do some workouts. And you get them to go work out with you. Or if that's just correcting some of your peers. You see some of your peers doing your free time just like kind of just fucking off doing whatever and not doing anything productive. And you go over and like, hey, dude, you probably study your knowledge because, you know, you're kind of retarded and you're kind of the special one in the platoon, so you might want to take a little bit extra time and study. And if you do that, and just sort of see that, they're like, dang, that guy, that's what's up. That's, that's the kind of stuff y'all ask, what's going to make you God? What's going to make you a squad leader at freaking uh, boot camp? That's the kind of stuff that's going to get you the position of guide and you know, squad leader. Those are the kind of people that fill those billets. Those are the type of people they are like, dang, I see some things in them, and you know, they're, they're, they're the one, you know, they're the leaders in the freaking platoon. And that's what you want ultimately. And that's going to make the drill instructors, they're going to still mess with you by all means. They're going to mess with you because you're in charge. And if you know, the people under you fuck up, they're going to fuck you up. But at that point, they're not just kind of like fucking you up the same way they're fucking up other people. They're trying to make you a better leader. They see you have leadership potential. So they're trying to mold you into a better leader. So if like they're fucking you up for something, that's to show you like, Hey, you're slacking in this kind of leadership trait, or you're not doing this as a leader. And, you know, then they're going to fuck you up and they're going to be like, oh, dang, I got fucked up for this. So maybe I should correct my peers before this happens again so I don't get fucked up again. So that's what that's going to be like. So if you come in showing some kind of leadership, I promise that's going to that's a big thing that's definitely going to impress your drill instructors. Because most people are not going to come in showing any type of leadership. Most people are going to be all scared and like, oh, I don't want to be here. I want to go home. I miss home. I should have never joined. But if you come in like, oh, boot camp is what it is. And, you know, I'm going to make the best of it. And you, like I said, you're putting forth the effort. You're taking initiative to do things. Promise. That's it's definitely gonna it's definitely gonna impress the drill instructors. Promise, hands down. The next thing that is definitely just it's not gonna only impress the drill instructors. It's just gonna help you out in boot camp. Is if you're already in shape. That's why I stress to y'all as much as possible. Get in some kind of shape before boot camp. Sure, you can get to boot camp all fat and nasty and you know just eating junk food your whole life. Sure, they're gonna get you in shape one way or the other. You're gonna learn how to be in shape. But if you already come in already in shape that's less stuff you got to worry about it's less stuff you have to get messed with if you're already in shape you're already doing like if you come to boot camp doing like 10 pull-ups you're doing like max crunches or like 80 crunches or 100 crunches and you have a decent run time dude they're not gonna mess with you probably that much unless you're just a freaking retard and you're just 
doing dumb crap. Oh, yeah. If you come in and you're already in shape, you're already yelling, you're showing some leadership Fuck. skills, and you're freaking uh, moving fast, like, dude, they have nothing to mess with you, like, about. They have nothing to come to you for. And, like, with the ITs, if you're already in shape, the ITs, like, getting messed up is not going to suck as bad. It, trust me, it's still going to freaking suck. You're going to hate your life. But you're going to hate your life a little bit less. And you're definitely going to hate your life, you know, less than the ones that weren't in shape. Because the people that are in shape, you're going to tell when you get to boot camp, like, dang, that guy has never done anything physical in his freaking life. Or that girl has never done anything physical in her life. You're going to be able to tell the people that never worked out, that didn't play sports, you're going to be able to tell the difference. But if you take the time now, while you're waiting to go to boot camp, and go ahead and start working out, go ahead and start getting in shape, then I promise you, you're not just going to only impress you, you're just going to make your time in boot camp a lot, lot, lot easier for yourself. And the last and final thing that's hands down going to impress your drill instructors, and this is kind of like the last one, it's not going to only impress your drill instructors, it's going to help you out in boot camp, is if you come in, you know, knowing some knowledge. And what I mean by that is knowing your 11 general orders and your rank structure at the minimum. Those are the things you need to know at the minimum before going into boot camp. Like me, I used to study it every single day until I knew it verbatim, until I knew the, general, uh, the rank structure and the general orders verbatim. I studied all that before boot camp. And one bonus thing that definitely will hands down impress your general instructors is if you come in knowing who the president is, who's the vice president, who's the secretary of defense, who's the secretary of the navy. You know all that stuff already, and you're like, dang, who is this kid? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's, like I said, it's less things they have to mess with you with. So, I mean, if you do all five of these things, your drill instructor, I promise, is going to go put his time elsewhere. He's not going to mess with you, and it's going to make your time a lot easier in boot camp. So, guys, now that you know the ways of how to impress your drill instructor, now you have to actually apply it. I can give you all the tips and tricks, but it's up to you to apply it. So, if you apply these, I promise your drill instructor is not only going to be impressed, but your drill instructor is not going to mess with you as much. You're still going to mess with it just because it's boot camp, but not as much, guys. But, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a like, please. I need to know if y'all liking the content. Also, leave some comments down below. If you need help with some workouts, if you need study tips, if you need anything, leave them in the comments. Also, guys, you can also DM me on Instagram. So go follow me on Instagram, guys. Also, you get a little insight of my kind of personal life. And also, I go live on Instagram sometimes, so you don't want to miss that, guys. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.